we got Mer please go to no wait there's no cut on there we go thanks all right so we're starting Thank on you. estuary yeah good man not picking merchant <laughs> i like both of them honestly i'd say claren has a bit of an advantage on this stage as opposed I... to sylvanas I don't know. I, feel like I don't know how to feel about it. Yeah, I feel like I might kind of depend on player. This is obviously a pretty big stage compared to the other starters, which mm -hmm. is really good for so. Um, but Clarence is able to cover the ground pretty easily because there's platforms covering most of the stage. Yeah, yeah. like the, the size of the platforms and also the fact that they just like go across the whole stage. Still, or Clarence can use those really well. Clarence yeah. has a lot of options with platforms. And if uh, Tico catches Giga on any of these platforms, F Smash will always tip her. On sure. the edge. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's a really good way to kill. Okay, so Tico managing to get some oh, stage control, Ooh, but okay. yeah, Giga's gonna Giga the fastball aerial, yeah. accidentally SDing. Tico's gonna be up the first stock here. Yeah, Ooh, the there roll. we go. He's up strong. Yeah, it feels like Giga's definitely looking out for all the chances he can get the line up strong right mm -hmm. here. Trying to take these stocks quickly. Giga's probably going to get the most percentage from tech reads. Yeah. Because that's just how Sylvanas works. Yeah. So, well, Giga doesn't really like to play the usual Sylvanas. He kind of just likes to go in your face and yeah, yeah do that. Do yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's uh, just nasty. I but. think the best way I could describe it is maybe Giga's like a very bouncy type of Sylv. Yeah. Definitely, sure. like, Code is a lot flashier, I think, but Giga's a lot more in your face. Sure. Like, it's hotly debated between like the two of them, which is the better Sylv. I think Giga's oh definitely the scarier Sylv to go up against yeah, between the two. Yeah. Once, yeah, once Giga catches you, it's really hard to get out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he yeah. wants you to DI in a certain way, yeah. or he'll just tech chase you like he did right there. It, it's Huge percent. You, you usually take a ton of punishment if he yeah, right here. You. Yeah, he gets he gets a tech read from the side B because he just ran forward at him. Or mm -hmm. all, oh, we're right into it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, going right into it. Aramata. Common place to take Sylv because of the walls not going all the way down, but it's for really some Sylvs, Giga included, think, this is like a favorite stage. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm pretty sure Giga loves this stage. I think it's like his fav his second favorite next to like Fire Capital. Yeah. It's one of those things like you have to know how, I think in general for this stage. Oh, oh wow. Oh my god. That's yeah, why it's that a good reach. stage, by the way. Yeah. In it, part, at least. It Giga's can, not afraid to go for that. The tipper can reach the yeah. platforms there. Mm. The platforms are also just really nice on the stage for like recovery. Yeah. Like, it's one of the few stages where Sylv, like, can recover high against most characters. Because on some stages, you really can't do that. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, Giga is just being so aggressive here. Mm -hmm. Just Tico's not giving him playing, stage control. Tico's playing super grounded. So Grounded, but Sylv isn't giving him the ground. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, so <laughs> Good yeah, technique there. He, Tico has to play from the top platform, try to approach from above, because that's kind of where Sylv... Yeah. Falls yeah. a little bit. Giga just so good at reading his general options. Just not giving yeah. space. There we go. Gets that parry. Ooh, Tico keeps smashing down to him, getting parried for it. I yeah. Think, yeah. I think Tico needs to do something safer. Just yeah. like maybe throw out a jab, jab, jab check him. I was going to say, because like, something interesting about jab and down tilt is like, they both have the same Oh my god, lag. just going for the same up strong. See, yeah, because he's Giga, holding in on all of the yeah, side. Yeah, so, what like, Giga wants you to do is hold in. But yeah. you have, actually have to hold out, otherwise he'll just do it again. Yeah. And Tico's holding in on a lot of these, oh my God, so yeah. it's just causing. When I, I think I think Tico, even if not not even needs to do something safer with these down tilts, maybe just needs to do something different to try and like mix Giga up. Yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. When I played uh, friendlies with Giga, he always told me if you don't di it in this certain oh, way, I will do it again. Uh, but he gets pineappled, Aramata things, just you know how it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Giga. I'm gonna pop off the code. I mean, that was a very strong game. I can understand the confidence. Yeah. But Tico actually, just keeps kind of running into a wall and doesn't know why he's getting hit. And we see the Shovel Knight switch. Oh, this might be good. Could be good. Let's we'll um, see. hates his character. Oh, my God. I, I am going to be honest. I find it a little bit questionable because Shovel Knight without relics, uh, Sylv can do really good against. Mm -hmm. And with how Giga has been doing against Tico, it might be hard for Tico to end up getting a relic before the game's over. Yeah, yeah. already seeing Unless he goes 100%. for something and fishes over here. Yeah, I was I was looking at that. Yeah. If he can get ghost oh, gloves, wow. the momentum yeah. could change. Cause ghost gloves just like destroy Sylv. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you need enough I mean, money for them. Like 
At the beginning of game one, it was pretty even, but as soon as Giga got that first stock, the whole set like really yeah. shifted Giga into his favor. Okay. Got a down Tico's got an opening here. Yeah. The problem is like it wasn't close enough to the ledge. Shovel Knight really needs to take his openings off stage. Mm -hmm. I don't think that was oh, really wow. possible. Yeah, you really want to push people off stage, but Giga's DI is just not letting that happen. He's trying to fish oh, something here, but he's just a little bit too high, and he's going to catch his landing with that uh, bear. Yeah. Yeah. Tico on, what is this? Uh, two, two R right now? Yep, he's on his tournament yeah. life. Gotta oh. make something happen here. I'm not talking tournament life, but you know. It's around one of pools. Yeah. Okay, didn't use the wall jump there. Thought he did for a second. Oh, that Doing was a good oh, job yeah. of <laughs> trying to mix yeah. up the recovery, but just not enough options on the character, really. Like, he kind of did everything he could to prevent that from happening, and it just happened anyways. It's just kind of, Tico felt, looked like he felt a little bit lost. Yeah. During, just during, because he, it, it just, there were so many openings, especially that last game. Yeah. Where Tico could have clearly hit him, mm -hmm. but I'm just not, not too sure he knows matchup yeah. or, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Has enough experience yet, because. Maybe. Playing play someone like Giga Bowser, Giga, Giga's movement is probably, he's Giga probably will the always best movement, movement check you. with uh, Sylvanos. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's so he's, good with it. He's so aggressive in your face. He wants you to make, do the options. If you're not going to do the options, he's going to just keep doing them. <laughs> um, yeah. Or in other words, what the dog doing? What the dog yeah, doing? Yeah, what the dog doing? All right, so he's I believe now we have real. Mantis and doing. Cheesy. Yep. Yeah. You saw what uh, Giga's dog doing. <laughs> now I get to see what Manta's dog doing. I get to see what more.